We ask you to consider the long ago case of the California fourth grader who barely studied until his teacher essentially bribed him to succeed. That turnaround student's name was Steve Jobs. As Bill Whitaker tells us now, the Apple founder's most enduring legacy may well be in the classroom. Open up the covers of your iPads. Today's digital classroom. No more notepads, no more scratch paper, and much smaller cubby holes. At St. Mel's School, every one of their 570 students has been assigned an iPad, a $375,000 investment paid for by the school. Do you miss your paper packets? No. <laughs> it's all part of Joyce Cluse's vision of what the graduating class of 2020 will need to succeed in the world. We believe that this piece of technology will enrich our students, will deepen their understanding, will support them, and will challenge them. Teachers here have seen immediate benefits. Scores have improved. Their tests that they took last Friday, I had several 100 percent. The iPads were handed out two weeks ago, and already students are paying more attention and playing with it on their own. So that doubles the educational input that they're getting because they're teaching themselves. Sometimes people think that they're playing games. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm playing games. But they don't know that they're playing educational games and they're getting better at stuff. What is it about the technology that creates that enthusiasm in the students? This is their language, that this is their connection. Uh, it, it speaks a lot to what education should be. The program is new, so the jury is still out on how iPads will impact test scores, but parents already are seeing positive results. I see a love for learning in my child that is ignited that I haven't seen in a long time. It just adds enthusiasm to what you're doing. Fifth grader Jack Abunasar doesn't mind that iPads have no games, no access to YouTube. He's having fun with his homework and believes that what is now extraordinary will soon be just the way it is. No more pencils, no more erasers, no more paper. I think it'll all end up like this, and I think this is just the beginning of how good it could get. Check out these smiles. It's hard to believe it could get much better than this. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Woodland Hills, California.